Hey folks, this is Valkyrie612 here. It's been a while since I've made a video about Silent Hunter. Um, and uh, it's actually been a while since I've played the game. It's probably been a few years actually. Uh, some of you may be uh, familiar with some of the uh, tutorials that I've made on using Silent Hunter 5. Um, I like these kind of games because I'm a uh, U.S. Navy veteran and um, I used to hunt submarines back in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Back then we were concerned mostly with the Soviet Union, although we were also concerned with other nations' submarines. I hunted subs from a uh, helicopter, uh, the, um, the SH-3H uh, Sea King helicopter made by uh, Sikorsky. Had, um, dipping sonar and we drop uh, sonar buoys and uh, we could trail out a uh, magnetic anomaly uh, detector and uh, we launched off of aircraft carriers uh, and it was, a, it was a hell of a lot of fun and um, did that for uh, four years and uh, then I did four years uh, reserve. So um, I know a lot about uh, submarine tactics as well um, as anti-submarine tactics. In order to be good at finding subs, you got to also be good at knowing how you know submarines, uh, you know uh, how they operate and what their tactics are. Uh, you know, the Silent Hunter Five is, uh, without a doubt, um, the best submarine simulator that I have ever encountered. Um, <clears throat> I I used to uh, actually do a little um, consulting with uh, sonalists, but I'm sure you have uh, heard of them. Uh, sonalist is a company that made games like 688 Fast Attack Sub and Dangerous Waters, and uh, you know a number of naval games uh, like that. I I didn't uh, get paid. I I actually kind of volunteered. Uh, some information uh, that was unclassified for them so uh, and, um, and that was back in the late 90s um, but uh, and they th they made some uh, very accurate uh, simulations for naval combat in general um, but uh, I haven't found a sub simulator better than Silent Hunter 5. Now what I've got up here on the screen that you've been staring at here for the past few minutes is uboat.net uh, and uh, I don't know the people that uh, that uh, that own this website I've got no uh, connection to them whatsoever I've actually just stumbled upon it very recently and it is fantastic for uh, historical information on u-boats um, I have not found anything quite like this uh, so what you can do and what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to actually uh, select a, a real-life U-boat uh, patrol. And uh, you can put in the, the year and uh, you know the month. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put October since that's uh, where I'm going to be at in, in the game. You can even put in the, the day. They've got, as you can read down here, 129,059 entries, um, and uh, they have 5,102 patrols, and of those, 3,584 were actually war, uh, war patrols. They show you uh, who the officers were, uh, the, you know, who the commanders were of, of the uh, specific U-boats, and what their um, patrol patterns were based on uh, radio communications during their uh, patrol. It'll show you how many sub or ships that they sunk, what ships that they were, where where those ships were located at the time. It was pretty amazing. So I'm just going to click this date, see if I can uh, find anything. Let's see, I'll go back in here and put 1939 day. I'm going to put, I don't know, Let's try the tenth, which I think is is, uh, is one that they've got. Yep, here's one. here's here's a bunch. These are all U-boats that were out uh, in the ocean at around that same time. Look at the uh, departure dates. They all left um, within about a 
most of them left within about a week of each other. And that's uh, roughly when the war uh, started. And um, if you click on them, like here's uh, Gunther uh, uh, Preen, I believe I'm uh, pronouncing that uh, correctly. Um, and he departed from Kiel. It was a 10 day uh, patrol and he came back into uh, Wilhelm's Haven. You click view, you can see that uh, patrol. And here's um, Captain Preen and uh, his officers. And here's a map right here that shows you the uh, actual patrol pattern here. So he left here at Kiel, and of course couldn't cross this way because that's land. Um, now there is a river that runs off there that uh, theoretically you could have gone down that and gone into the North Sea, but I think what he, what he did and it's actually up here, it's not down here, but I think what he did was uh, he went up here and there. And the lines are made based on uh, actual radio communication. So it looks like he was in radio silence as he came up here. And um, they know he started at Kiel. And then somewhere when he got in here, maybe he uh, communicated once or twice, or maybe more, but not too often, I'm sure. And he went straight to uh, Scapa Flow in Scotland where he encountered and sank the British battleship, the HMS Royal Oak, which was the largest ship sunk by a U-boat at that time. Um, and you can actually visit the, that uh, ship's page and you can actually see the HMS Royal Oak. And she was sunk on the 14th of October and uh, she was, uh, at first, pretty interesting. Um, Captain Preen launched a spread of torps. One of them bounced off of the, uh, the anchor that was, uh, because they, they had their anchor deployed in the harbor. And he fired, he fired another spread uh, a little bit later and sunk them. He also hit the, uh, the HMS Pegasus, which he reported as, as the HMS Repulse, which was actually misidentified. The, uh, anyway, the second spread uh, hit the Royal Oak and sank it. Uh, one of the torps hit the magazine and blew it up, killing over 800 people. Uh, uh, 800 sailors, that is. And uh, pretty amazing stuff. There were 1,259 people on board. So here it says, 835 dead, 424 survivors. And it gives you the approximate uh, position uh, of where she was when she sank. Now you can do this for literally thousands of um, patrols. I just think this is so cool. So I'm going to actually do this in my sub. I'm going to leave Kiel. I'm going to come around Denmark here and go across and shoot across the North Atlantic straight to Scapa, Scapa Flow. And then I'm going, to, um, I'm going to see who's there and see if I can take out some big targets. And then I'm going to turn around and cruise along the UK coast just like uh, the skipper did, um, Captain Preen. And I'm going to come into uh, Wilhelm's Haven at the end of my uh, patrol. And I'm going to, it should be about 10 days. That's how long his was. So I encourage you to check this site out and, um, you know, check out the different things. You got, uh, you know, con convoy battles and wolf packs. And, uh, you know, you can cl click a list of uh, successful patrols. There's some that are just amazing. You sink tons of ships. They have the uh, tonnage right here. This guy, uh, Gunter uh, Hessler, had, uh, had the most on, on one uh, patrol on 29 March. Let's see what, see what he looks like. He has all kinds of information about him. Here are the ships that he sunk. Look at that. <laughs> oh, jeez. even tells you if they were part of a convoy. You can click on the convoy. And here are the ships 
that were sunk and where they were sunk on his uh, patrol. Uh, there's a British steam merchant, the Empire Citizen. Uh, there's the Nicholas Angelos. This is actually kind of personal uh, for me because um, my great uncle was uh, torpedoed four times and lived. He was a uh, merchant marine on one of these merchant ships. Uh, he was uh, coming from the United States, actually right here in uh, Philadelphia. Our, well, not Philly, but he, he came out, out of uh, New York. Uh, where he lived in Long Island and uh, aboard his ship and they used to come across the uh, the Atlantic and um, deliver supplies to the uh, UK. Uh, he, st he, st he served both uh, before the war started and all the way up to the, the end of the war. And somewhere up in here he was um, he was uh, hit by uh, Torpedoes. Um, actually, it was two occasion, two separate occasions, um, and both times he was hit by the ship was hit by two torps, and the ships uh, were sunk, and he was dumped into the North Atlantic. And uh, uh, but he survived. So anyway, this is uh, the um, patrol pattern of this uh, particular, uh, or rather of this uh, convoy rather, this is the course the convoy took. And what we were looking at is the uh, patrol by uh, Gunter Hessler. You, know, you come over here, let's see, uh, let's just randomly click on another guy, uh, Carl Friedrich. Carl Friedrich Merton gives you all information about him. Uh, here's um, patrol info. Here are ships that he sunk. So let's see if we can find a uh, patrol pattern here. That looks cool. So these are off the coast of Africa here. And this this uh, campaign is part of the game. Um, this was, I believe, this was known as uh, Church, uh, the Churchill Express. This. Uh, shipping pattern here to uh, South Africa and um, so he was right along here if you click on these locations it tells you the ships that he sunk where and when and you can go to that uh, particular ships page and look at actual pictures of that merchant ship look at that doesn't that look like one of the uh, merchant ships in our game, it's, it's the exact same uh, ship. The type, um, the type of ship is as one of the large merchants um, in the game. It's amazing. It gives you uh, all kinds of information on, the, um, on how the ship was lost, as well as details about the experience of the crew. Wow. So, like I said, uh, I am going to use one of these uh, patterns here. Um, look for successful patrols. And I'm going to be using uh, one of Gunther Preen's patrols just because it takes him uh, near the, um, uh, the, the coast of the UK. And that would be, sorry about this, there we go. And the pattern looks like this here. This is one of his patrols. Click view, and it'll pop up here. Here it is. One that I was showing you earlier. So this is a real, uh, you know, simple pattern. It's a short uh, patrol of ten days, and this is about the time that I'm uh, that I'm at within the game. And I'm going to go up the uh, uh, Scapa Flow, 
I'm going to go up to Scapa Flow and see what I can find and come back along coast and come back into uh, Williams Haven. So I encourage you to check this uh, website out and uh, you know let me know what you think and uh, you know how you're going to use it to you know incorporate in in your gameplay. I think this is uh, really cool. So anyway, give me some comments. Let me know what you think, and I will uh, see you again shortly on my uh, patrol with uh, U-47 with uh, my. Uh, campaign name is going to be named after Gunther Prim. See you then. Bye.